Can you please have your seat? God bless you. Um, this morning, I'm going to continue this series that I made mention of. And the title of the, my message this morning is Follow God's Plan for Your Life. Follow God's Plan. Tell your neighbor, follow God's plan for your life. Now, we started this last week. And I'm, I'm breaking my message from the book of Jeremiah chapter 29. From verses 11 to 13. Jeremiah 29, verses 11 to 13. God says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, see the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Verse 12. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you, and, I will, and ye shall seek me and find me. When you shall search for me with all of your heart. That's the word of God there is very powerful and straightforward. It says, For I know the thought that I think towards you, say the Lord, say the Lord, say the thought of peace and not of evil. And I emphasized last week that the plan of God for your life and for my life, for every one of us, those thoughts and plans are very good. And I also emphasize the fact that it's good for you to have plans. It's good for you to have goals. But the plan and goal for your life that God has marked for you first supersedes your own plan. It first supersedes your own goal. And then the Bible now says, Then you shall call upon me. It says, And you shall call upon me, and you shall go and pray unto me. What a scripture. In a nutshell, he's saying is that God wants you to know his thoughts. God wants you to know his plan. And then you now bring that thought and plan to him to pray unto him. In a nutshell, just, just let me lay it very simple. And he says, he says, and when you when you, when you shall call upon me and you shall go and pray unto me, not just pray. Say, I say, I will hearken unto you. Verse 13 says, and you shall seek me and find me. So when you shall search for me, he says, search. Is God lost? No. There is prayer and there are prayers. Prayer of God minus the devil is not a prayer of search. When something is lost and you are looking for it, do you look for it actually? Talk to me, church. Yeah. You have to run search and search. You make a lot of effort. So, and I also said last week that God has a plan for you to fulfill. And you have to fulfill God's plan and purpose for your life. Now, last week, we also emphasized the fact that this teaching, we're going to combine it with prayers that will be targeted to us successful running of our race so that we can finish our course. I pray that the race that you have come to run here on earth, you will finish your course. Amen. Your race will not be truncated yeah. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now the question is, how can you successfully run the race and finish the course? That's what this teaching is all about and it's going to be in series. How can you successfully run the race and finish your course? The Bible answers all these questions for us. Now last, on last Sunday also, I also emphasize that one major thing that God is expecting you to do is what is called thanksgiving to God and praises to Him. You are thanking the Lord, you know, just the thank, the, the thank, um, what, what, what do I say now? The thanksgiving to the Lord is that you are thanking Him because His plan for your life is good. Praise the name of the Lord. For example, when um, you, you get a very good and fantastic job, and then, when you now go to resume in that job, they will give you what is called what? When you go to resume a job, they will give you what? Offer letter. Offer that's number one. After the offer letter, what, what else? ID card. No? Those are. Sorry? <laughs> Not just the code of, of conduct. During the 
orientation, they will lay it there and say, this job here, you're going to receive one million dollars per month. Amen. This is going to be all the benefits that you, that's all you're after. Ah, when you see that benefit, you do, you pick your phone to call your wife, but daddy, and then you are happy, you begin to thank the Lord. You have not even started the job yet, but you are thanking the Lord because you have seen the benefits. That's what we are saying here. That the plan of God for your life is good. And you begin to thank God for it. Although it has, while you begin you are searching every day, because it's not going to reveal everything to you one time. Are you listening to me? And you are thinking it every day because those plans are good. Praise the name of the Lord. So so that's number one where where we start from. And then and I'm gonna continue. For you also to run this race successfully, let's consider the book of Ephesians chapter 1, verses 15 to 23. It says, Wherefore, I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints, verse 16, cease not to give thanks to God for you, making mention of you in my prayers. What is the prayer about? Verse 17, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Verse 18, the eye of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what is the riches of the glory of, the, of the, his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe? That power is not for unbelievers now. Towards us who believe, according to the working of his mighty power. Praise the name of the Lord. Which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. Far above principalities and powers. And might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. Verse 22. And has put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. I'm going somewhere now. There's a reason why I'm reading all those scriptures. Because Christ, you need to know the role of Christ in the church. Bible says he has put all the all things under his feet. And gave him to be the head over all things to the church. Verse 23, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. So the first thing that the scripture is saying there, after, you know, apart from the things given, is this here, verse, uh, verse 15. So wherefore, after I have heard of your faith in the Lord, you must develop your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the foundation. If you don't have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, according to the book of Ephesians, it says you have, you have no hope in the world. Without God in the world, you are alien to the covenant of promise. Are you listening to me? You are a stranger to the covenant of promise. Having no hope and without God in the world. You are in the world, you are of the world. But if you are in the Lord, you are Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are in the world, but you are not of the world. You belong to him. And the spirit of Christ dwells in you. First of all, you must develop your faith in Christ. Christ must be your Lord and your personal Savior. And then your faith must resolute on him. You are riding on him, not on your own faith. Not on the faith of your friends. Not on the faith of social media. Not on the faith of what people I don't even know their names. That put a lot of things on online that are in the rave now that you think that is the norm. Those faith are not in Christ. I listen to me. There are a lot of things that I don't have time for that people are saying online right now when they come to the gospel. I was listening to one of them just a uh, day before yesterday. The a, a lady says, the reason why I left Christianity to Hindu yeah, and, and millions of people have watched it. 
Some people will be, sed will be seduced by that. Ah, maybe they, what this lady is saying is true. And everything there was just fallacy. They lack understanding of the world. They lack understanding of Christ. And the, the, that those people that are wanted, they are happy that somebody left Christianity and come and join them. I say, Lord, have mercy. Please, I just pray that prayer for that lady that the Lord will save the soul of this girl. Are you listening to me now? So your faith must be in Christ. And, and, and everything about what you believe must be in Christ. Not what other people are saying, not just what social media are saying, not what, what your friends are saying, not what, what, what the nations of the world are saying. Faith in Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. In the book of Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6 to 9 says, verse 6 says, Seek ye the Lord, what he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked, see that? Let the wicked forsake his ways, and the unrighteous man is taught. And let him return to the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, he will abundantly pardon. That is Christ for you. He has shed his blood for you and for me. So that in our wickedness, our wicked talk, everything we surrender, we confess God before him. But we say he is faithful and God to forgive and to cleanse us from every form of unrighteousness. When you do that, you belong to him genuinely, and then you begin to walk in him. You are walking in the newness of life that Christ has given. Praise the name of the Lord. Verse 8. It says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, said the Lord. For as the heaven are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. The thought of the world is far different from the, from the thought of Christ. The way of, of Christ is far different from the way of the world. The way of the world now is for you, for you what you need to do as a lady, you open your, your cleaver, you know, you let the people know that the thing really exists. That's the way of the world. Yeah. And so that people will know that yeah, you are correct now. That is the way of the world. Are you listening to me? So that everybody will know. That is the way of the world. And that way of the world now is creeping to the church now. That, that is not the way of Christ. Modesty is the way of Christ. I can go on, on and on. See, for, 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 it's for seven is higher than the earth. So are my ways are higher than your ways. Are my thoughts higher than your thoughts. Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 7 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. For in all your ways, all, all, not just in any as all in some aspect, not just where it's convenient, in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Say, be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Don't say you are wise. Don't say my wisdom is hard. I know a lot of people that are doing it and they are prospering. Those people that are doing that are prospering, God has said them in slippery place. That's what the word of the Lord says. That was what David was saying. He says, he says I, I, I used to envy a lot of people. Is, is he in vain that I trust, trust God? Say, so when I get to the house of the Lord, I now saw you everything. Ah, so you have said this one in slippery places. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. You know, just look, look at it truly. That, that's how it is. Proverbs 14 12 says, There is a way which seems right to a man, but the end thereof is the way of death. Is the way of what? You will not tread that path. Amen. You will not lean in your own understanding. Amen. For in all your ways you will acknowledge it. And it will direct your path. Other people might be doing it, but not you. Your case is different because you are of the Lord. You are for the Lord. They might, they, they, you might be an outcast among them, that's fine. They might ridicule you, that's fine. They might not be your friend anymore, that's fine. Are you listening to me? But let me tell you, your prophet will appear before me. Amen. Then we know that truly you are a child of God. The, another thing, after you, have, after you have your faith in Christ, that scripture says, um, verse 15 now, I, I'm still on Ephesians uh, 1 15. It, it, it says, 
It says, your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all saints. Love. Love is very, is, is very, very important. Love unto all saints. Love unto all saints. If, if, if you look at uh, Matthew chapter 12, verse 30 to 31, and I'm mean, sorry, Mark chapter 12, verse 30 to 31, and the book of Matthew 22, 37 to 40, is, those scriptures are saying the same thing. I'm going to read Matthew 22, 37 to 40. It says, Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Verse 38, this is the first and the great commandment. First commandment, I, put, I told you, you put your faith in him. You love him with everything within you. The second thing, is verse 38, he says, this is the first and great commandment. And the second, 39, is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments, hang all the law and the prophets. So your faith, after you have, after you have believed in Christ, after you, you, you are not walking in him, you, because it is your relationship with God. And immediately that you give your life to Christ, how many of you discovered that God did not call you to heaven right away? He says, I still need you here on earth. And you have to relate with believers, relate with unbelievers, relate with wicked people, relate with, 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 with people that are, not, that, are, that, that are nasty and all that. He still expects you to walk alone. Not, not, not tit for tit, not tat for tat. How do you say it? Eye for eye. Whatever you do for me, I'm not going to give you up. Put my own back. That's the way of the world. That is the way. Uh, if not for Christianity, I will. Ah, uh, uh, you are in Christ now. All things are past. All things must be new. Praise the name of the Lord. You must walk in love. There is still going to be a, a message per se on love by the special grace of God. Not just one message, it's going to be the same as well. Praise the name of Jesus. Now, because of my time, I need to run. So, don't forget, number one, what do you do? Develop your faith in where? Yeah, and be grounded in Him. Number two, what, what is next? Love. You love Him and you love your neighbor. Your neighbor, the believers, unbelievers, your family, your mother in law, your father in law, all of them you love. Praise the name of the Lord. And then I'm going to end on this note Hebrew chapter 12. Verses 1 to 2. He says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay our side, I mean, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does easily beset. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me tell you, after God has opened your eyes and your eye of understanding has enlightened, what do you need to do for you to run the race successfully? He's telling us here that we need to lay aside every weight. You know, you see this um, this thing here? Praise the name of the Lord. I did not plan it. If I plan it well, I will have asked uh, our pastor here to put this thing on his back. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm going to call a 10 year old boy. 10 years. Just a race from here to here. Let's see who's going to win. That boy will, 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 will. Ideally, if the two of them are paid, of course, it's going to uh, 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 pay the 10 year old boy, but because of that weight, the weight will weigh down and he will, say, he will be struggling like this. That is, that is the, you know, that, that weight is what is pulling people down from running the race. And, 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 and he says, We are for. Also, we are compassed with such a, such a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay our side. Let, now, let, let me explain certain things here. It says, we are compassed about with such a great cloud of witnesses. Who are these? And on Wednesday, I was trying to explain who are those cloud of witnesses are. The cloud of witnesses there, they are the, those who died in faith. Those what? They, they put their trust in Christ. They live and they die in faith. Father Abraham just mentioned the, the patriarch. 
The New Testament preacher, all of them, and your, your fellow believers that die in the faith, about your, your family members that die in the faith, all of them, those are the people that are cloud of those glory. Praise the name of the Lord. Why you are living your life here on earth, they are only interested in, in spiritual aspect of it. They, they, when, when, if you don't, they, you don't buy a, a, a Range Rover now, they don't know whether you bought a Range Rover. Mm. You just bought a new house, you are happy. They don't know whether you just bought a new house. But the moment you decide for Christ, I'm born again, then there will be joy in heaven. Amen. Did you read that in your scripture? The moment you decide for Christ, oh, this day pastor is preaching, I need to give my life to Jesus, and you decide for Christ. Christ is my Lord, and I'm, they, they began to rejoice. The day that you make up your mind, oh, I'm not going to go my own way anymore, it's the way of the cross. Anything God said, that's what I want to do. They are rejoicing. Because that is the spiritual thing that they are sensitive to. And they are watching you and they are clapping. Hey, 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 hey. Pastor, I will continue to go. Hey, Pastor, 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 don't stay here. Continue to go. Hey, bro, bro, bro. Hey, hey. Lord, continue, continue, continue. Don't stay there, don't stay there. And then why my brother? They are, they are, they are sharing you up. Sharing. You might not see it. How many of you are going to watch your child playing football or 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 the musical concert or whatever? What do you have? What do you do? You are happy, you are sure. and, 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 and that boy, even if it's too, too weak, because the family are sharing him up, sharing up, and they are here, they get to swell, and they get to, and then they will just post with them, and you see them, that's their joy, they are happy, then you see them give their best. And those are the crowd of witnesses. They say they are watching what we do. They are watching what we do. And he now says, let us clear our side every way and sing. We don't easily be test us. And then we now need to run the race the, with patience. Patience. With what? Patience. The walk with the Lord is with patience. With patience. You patiently walk with Him. You are patient with the Lord your God. As a newborn baby. You know, how many babies that you that you give back to the baby now? And then suddenly in the evening, the baby has, has started running, started speaking, started doing other. How many? It's with time. Isn't that so? So also, when you give your life to Christ, you are a baby in the Lord. And then you now begin to patiently walk with the Lord. Don't say, oh, I've been trusting God for this. He hasn't done it. Ah, how many years have I been? And then you go, patience. Patience. Don't say, ah, see my, my friend, my believer friend, I, 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 if you know the amount of this, I mean, ah, me too, I'm, I'm, I'm a Christian, and, ah, if not because I'm a Christian, oh, oh. patience. 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 Because when the Lord will do yours, they will be amazed. Amen. They will think they have gone far, you will still overtake them. Amen. They will. Because that's the word of the Lord. Why don't you bow down your heads? We're, we're going to talk to the Lord this morning. He will say, Father, I thank you. Because I know that your plan towards me is a plan that are good and not evil. Go ahead and thank the Lord for that. Say, Lord, I thank you for that's your plan for me. That is this the plan that is good and not evil to bring me to an expected end. And then you now say, Father. Then it's here you say, Father. Father. Father, Father of glory. Please open my eyes. Open my eyes. Grant unto me the spirit of wisdom and revelation. In the way that prayer, that prayer, that God will open your eyes, that God will grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, in the knowledge of Him. Say, God, give me wisdom, revelation. In I want to know you more. I want you to reveal yourself to me more. I want to walk with you more. I want to. I want to have intimate relationship. I want to love you more. I want to get closer to you more. Go ahead and talk to the Lord. And also tell him, Father, cause my eye of understanding be enlightened. I want to understand you more. Cause my eye of understanding be enlightened. Let me to be able to see. Cause my eye of understanding to let me be enlightened. But I may know what is the hope of your calling. What is the reaching of the glory of the inheritance and the saints in the name of Jesus. The glory of the inheritance is I want to know. I want the exceeding greatness of your power to all of us who believe in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord, forever. 
In Jesus' wonderful name we are praying. Mighty God, we thank you for your word that you have spoken to us this morning. Lord, you have spoken to us to put our faith in you. Lord God Almighty, this morning we will dedicate our heart to you. We ask that, Lord, you will have your way in every heart this morning. In the name of Jesus, that you will rule, you will reign, you will have preeminence in our lives. In the name of Jesus. But we ask that, Lord, help us to love you more. Help us to love our neighbor. Help us not to walk in hate. Help us to God Almighty, no matter what the world might be, might be saying, might be going, help us to also to trust you, to believe in you. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that Lord, you will open our, open our eyes. Cause our eye to understand and be enlightened. Pour upon the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you. Help us to be able to know, oh God, the exceeding greatness of your power that is at work in us, which you love in Christ when you raised him from the dead. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise. And for us to be able to know as well the glory of the head of the saints. Thank you, precious Father. Jesus, wonderful name, we pray. Amen.